would like to talk about shockwave therapy. I find that clinically, when we have very stubborn tendonitis, which we might call them chronic tendonitis, or particularly if you have calcified tendonitis, shockwave therapy would be my treatment of choice. So in a normal healing stage, let's use tennis elbow as an example. We have our muscle here that forms a tendon and the tendon attaches to the bone tip. If we use it too much, it could cause inflammation and pain. Normally, if we treat it with uh, regular treatment, maybe laser, maybe acupuncture, stretches, etc., the healing would take place and the inflammation will go down. Then you're good to go. However, in some cases, this could drag on for a long time, meaning past like six, eight months, and the situation becomes chronic. So in this situation, the regular treatment doesn't really affect it very well. Then I find shockwave is very useful. It actually, uh, in principle, uses the acoustic wave to shock the tissue. It actually creates a microtrauma, actually almost like a re-injury to the tissue. However, in this process, you could allow the tissue to heal again. I find it particularly useful if you have calcified tendonitis. What this means is that if we have chronic injury uh, to the tissue, uh, sometimes our body responds by laying down some calcium. Uh, the theory might be that because the tendon is close to the bone, so the body is trying to heal the bony part. However, the calcium deposit goes past that insertion and goes into the muscle. So now we've got some hard tissue in a soft tissue. So just Basic analogy, if I got a nail that's pinching a soft part of your body, you know who is going to win, right? The nail. So therefore, it creates an ongoing irritation to the tissue. So the shockwave therapy could actually cause microfracture. This sounds kind of crazy, but uh, if you have calcium deposit in the soft tissue, uh, that would actually be the most conservative way to treat it. Uh, if you use surgery, you try to cut it, then you're going to have to cut through your healthier soft tissue uh, and cause an injury. But if the calcium is more spread out, it's really hard to do surgery, right? You're gonna have to remove a lot of good tissues. So therefore, the shockwave therapy could actually blast off those calcium deposit into little tiny chunks and our body would actually reabsorb that. This is useful in tendonitis. Uh, usually elbows, we could have tennis elbow, golfer's elbow on the inside, uh, a lot of people have shoulder calcification, actually. Uh, we could do it around the knees. Uh, people might have patella tendonitis. Uh, we could do it in your Achilles, uh, which is behind your heel. And then we could do it under your foot. Uh, people might have uh, we call plantar fasciitis or heel spur. So I'll show you. So basically, we have an applicator, and this part here actually vibrates. So the machine actually uh, creates a mechanical uh, vibration or acoustic wave to deliver into your tissue. We're gonna put a little bit of gel onto the area and we're going to apply it. So we do have to use a bit of pressure to get to the place. So you can hear the sound and basically we go around that tissue. We usually go by the number of shots and the area of tenderness. So usually for shockwave treatment, we will do them weekly apart, and we will do five to six sessions in total. And the purpose of that is once you uh, irritate the tissue, uh, it creates that inflammation, or we're talking about the, it breaks up the calcium. You want the body to go on and heal. So it is quite painful in a way. Uh, however, it doesn't last uh, very long during the treatment, the pain. Uh, after the shockwave therapy session, uh, we will try not to do things that will bring down the inflammation because we actually try to promote the inflammation and the heating to go through. So we do not use ice, which actually brings down inflammation. Uh, we don't take anti-inflammatory such as ibuprofen or Advil or Aleve. Uh, which actually subsides the inflammation. We actually want the inflammatory response and the heating that comes with it. There are different theories apart from uh, the inflammation. It could actually break down 
uh, scar tissues as well. So if it's chronic case, that will break up the scar tissue. Uh, there are some theory that talk about it will uh, stimulate your nerve locally, which actually helps you with your pain symptoms. But basically, uh, if I use an analogy, if you sprain your ankle, the ligament is gonna be inflamed and sore and stuff like that. Uh, however, you will go through the normal healing process. So basically, the shockwave therapy will help your body to reset and let it heal from there. So usually I find clinically, if it's the right uh, diagnosis, it's actually very effective. Uh, the first few times it might be quite painful. Uh, I guess what I mean that afterwards it might be a bit painful and when people do you know, use their arm or legs, you might still feel painful. Uh, but I find that usually after three sessions or so, you actually attack the big difference. Uh, and then as we go on, people usually do very well.